Perfect. So first of all, my name is Sean Bowman with Fandom Wire, and thank you for taking time to talk with me. Really enjoyed Thanks the film and really enjoyed your performances in it. Thank Thanks, you. Sean. Yeah. So my first question is that, you know, it's kind of sad to say that there's already an entire generation of people probably that doesn't really know what a Blackberry is. How would you describe the Blackberry phenomenon to them in the simplest terms? <laughs> wow. Um, imagine uh, your everyday life that you take for granted. Uh, imagine the first time you could Imagine there being a time where you couldn't talk to your friends uh, on your phone um, via text every night. Imagine, imagine a time where you weren't just keenly aware to the millisecond of what somebody had said about one of your photos on Instagram. Imagine a time before Instagram, in fact, um, and just the the um, the game change. It's like this. It's like you know how once upon a time there were no cars, and then there were cars. It's like that, but with how you talk to your uh, your other fucking nerds that listen to whatever music you guys listen to. <laughs> Do you have anything to add? No, I, I I mean I think it was it was it it ushered us into an era where we were we could be reachable at all times through email. Uh, I mean, you could text before, but it was not very a very efficient way of communicating. Um, you could obviously, we had cell phones, you could speak to people when you weren't on a landline, um, but you couldn't, uh, you couldn't communicate via email uh, with the same expediency as you, you, you could once the BlackBerry came around. And uh, boy, it sure uh, added a lot of stress to people's lives. A lot yeah, of convenience. Initially, initially, lots of convenience because you could stay on top of your email, but because you could stay on top of it now, there are just more of them. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. So I think one of my favorite things about the film is your performance, Mr. Howerton, which I think is, you know, almost chameleonic in a way. Yeah. Uh, how did you kind of immerse yourself in this character? Um, I mean, you know, it, like with most things, you, you, I really just try to find the the aspects of the character that I can relate to. Uh, the, uh, the drive to push through obstacles, uh, which I could relate to from you know, working on It's Always Sunny for years, uh, you know, in the very beginning that we, we came up against lots of resistance in almost every respect uh, in terms of how we wanted to shoot it, uh, how we wanted to edit it, uh, even down to just like the fact that we were constantly overlapping our dialogue and having editors tell us we can't do that and being like, we're going to do it anyway. And just pushing through those obstacles with a, an obstinance and uh, a belief in yourself um, it was all things that I could I could relate to uh, with Jim. I, I mean, they were obviously very different things that he was fighting for, but he still had to fight through a lot of people saying no and, you know, uh, find workarounds to a lot of uh, really complex obstacles. Um, and, you know, anybody that's got a, an extreme drive like that is super interesting to me. Yeah, absolutely. And then Mr. Barakal, your performance is very unique in your filmography, I would say, and that you're playing what is kind of, you know, a straight faced character in a pretty comedic film. What was it like playing this type of character that's more restrained? Oh, thanks uh, for, uh, for uh, thanks for noticing. Uh, yeah, <laughs> exhilarating, uh, super fun, super fun. Just cause like, you know, um, when you're, uh, when you, when you've been on set uh, every year since 1995, uh, you get kind of used to doing shit a certain way and being able just like this see i just gestured so it was like putting these fucking things away and hiding this stupid eyebrow and just like i don't know just just not allowing myself to do the shit that i've often done um was like a super fun interesting jumping off point for me and and it was really just like more than anything it was really just a trip i got to work with spectacular actors and every time that glenn did a thing I knew what my guy's POV was you know and so so you know I don't I don't I didn't think of it like oh I get to be the like serious guy around a bunch of funny people or something like that it was more just like oh I haven't been this specific guy before and the entire process of finding out who that is was really really uh, rewarding and inspiring yeah, absolutely. And then for my last question, I kind of want to do something a little bit fun. So who do you think would win in a fight? Uh, your portrayal of Mike Lazaridis, your portrayal of Jim Bosilli, 
Michael Fassbender's portrayal of Steve Jobs or Jesse Eisenberg's portrayal Jim. of Mark Zuckerberg. Jim, 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 <laughs> Jim, real Jim and movie Jim. <laughs> Get the fuck out of literally everybody you just described. <laughs> yeah, what he's, you, he's a pretty, he's a pretty physically intimidating guy too. When you meet him in real life, he was, uh, you know, bigger than I expected. You know, the guy was a fucking triathlete, man. Like yeah. this guy was no joke. I mean, he was a, you know, a, a, he could bully you verbally, but he could bully you physically too. I'd, I'd take Jim any day. Like this little frail Steve Jobs, little frail <laughs> Mark all Zuckerberg Steve, versus versus all, Jim Balsillay. I don't. Yeah, think so. like all all Steve Jobs was putting in there was like nuts and strawberries. Like Balsillay's <laughs> played hockey since he was a fucking kid. Like he's he's really no joke. Yeah, I think Balsillay was cracking raw eggs like Rocky and yeah, you know, exactly. Doing, <laughs> training for triathlons all the time. <laughs> Yeah, absolutely. Well, thank you so much again for talking with me. Really enjoyed the film and I can't wait to see what you guys do next. Lovely, lovely to chat with you, Sean. Thank you. Perfect. Thank Have you, a Sean. great rest of your day.